In Medisoft, you can create as many practices as needed. For example, if you're a billing company, you can have multiple practices and you can build different practices at the same time with different files. So to open an existing file, you will open a practice and you will have the different files name here. To create a new practice, you will hit new. Then you give the practice name. This is the path where your data is going to be stored. It's always in a folder called Medidata and depend what's the name of your server. It will be the name of the server here, then the Medidata folder, then whatever name you want to call path or the name of the folder, that's where the data is going to store. Now it's recommended to keep this one short and one word. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to create this data? It doesn't exist. If you say yes. Right now, Medisoft is creating all the tables. They're going to be all empty. Then we're going to work on filling all this data. The first information you're going to enter is the practice information. That's usually your formal name of the practice. This name is going to be shown on claims electronically and on paper. When you are entering any data in Medisoft, after the second line of the address, it's going to move to zip code. If you ever use that zip code before, it will populate the city and state. If not, it's going to go back to city. Depending on the practice, if it's individual, since I have a practice name, most likely this is a group practice. Then we're going to leave this as non-person. This is person and non-person. Person means individual and non-person means it's a group. The email is not going to be used for billing, of course, but just for reference, there's three types of billing you can do in Medisoft. There's anesthesia, chiropractor, or medical. Most specialty, they will go on to be medical. Unless you're an anesthesia billing or chiropractor, you'll pick otherwise. I'm going to pick medical. The tax ID here is no longer needed. However, you can enter it here just for easy access if you need to look up a tax ID for your practice. After you're done with this, we're going to go to practice ID. Practice ID, that's where the information is going to be taken on your claim. We're going to need the national API. Taxonomy is for your specialty. Depending on your specialty, you might need taxonomy. Some specialties, they don't need taxonomy. And don't confuse taxonomy with tax ID. Taxonomy is the type of specialty. Each specialty has a taxonomy number and the tax ID, that's the one is going to go out on the claim. If you need any legacy code to go out on the claim, you will put it here. Most people don't use legacy codes anymore. Then now I'm going to hit save. Sometimes you need to have a different payer or different insurance company that needs different IDs. So in that situation, you can make an override. So the override could be based on a provider or could be based on provider classes, also could be on an insurance carrier or insurance carrier classes, or depending if we practice at a particular facility, any of that, if it's different from your normal, you can have an override. For now, we're going to just keep it as one entry for everybody. Practice pay to, this is where you want your money to go to. If it's a PO box or a log box, I'm going to leave it blank. I want the practice pay to, to be the same as the practice address. And the same thing, the statement pay to, I'm going to leave it blank. The practice pay to tab is usually identical to the practice address that you have here. This information is needed to send electronic claim. So you want to fill this the same information that you have in the practice information here, unless you have a PO box that you want the payment to go to or different from the physical address. The same thing for statement pay to. So statement pay to, if it's not the same as the practice, you can enter a PO box here or wherever you want your payment. Sometimes payment might need to go to the billing service. So that's what this is here. I hope you found that helpful. Click below for the complete Medisoft Online Academy by Microwise. Or you should know that if you sign up for the Medisoft Cloud by Microwise, you will get the complete online academy at no additional charge. Also, we provide one-on-one -on -one training. Let's get your practice running at peak efficiency. Don't compromise, go microwise.